Welcome to this s 50 Gateway tutorial by Thorn Technologies. My name is Bryce, and in this video, I will be showing you how to integrate Azure Active Directory with s 50 Gateway. First, in the Azure portal, navigate to App Registrations. Once you're here, click New Registration. Configure a name, supported account types, I'll be using single tenant, and redirect URL. For the platform, select web. And then in the URI, do HTTPS, and then the public IP of your VM, slash backend, slash login, slash OAuth2, slash code, and then a custom name. Make sure to remember this custom name because we'll need it when creating the identity provider in SFTP Gateway. I'll be using Bryce since that's my name. And then click register. Once you have registered your app, we can now configure the identity provider in SFTP Gateway. Under the settings page, scroll down until you see identity providers and then click add new identity provider. Configure a display name. Mine will be Azure AAD. One thing to note is that the display name will be appended by sign in with. So on the admin login page, this would say sign in with Azure AAD. Next, we'll configure the issuer URI. The issuer URI is HTTPS colon slash slash login.microsoftonline.com, your tenant IT ID, and then version 2.0. You can find the tenant ID by going to the overview page of your app and then copying the directory or tenant ID and inputting the value in the placeholder. The next field we need to fill in the client ID can also be found on the overview page for your app. Copy this and then paste it in. To gain the client secret, we'll navigate back to your app in the Azure portal, and then on the left menu, select Certificates and Secrets, and under Client Secrets, select New Client Secret. Here you can configure a description and an expiration date. I won't be using any. Add, and then you want to copy the value, go back to SFTP Gateway, and paste in the client secret. The name attribute will just be the word name in all lowercase and to find the registration ID, go back to the app in the Azure portal and under authentication, it's the custom name you configured when creating your redirect URI. Copy and then paste in that value for the reg registration ID. You may now save your changes. Scroll back down once again and you'll see your identity provider has successfully created. Now, under your SFTP Gateway Admin, click Logout. And here you see Sign In with Azure AAD. Click on this. And then, as you can see, I'm signed in with my Azure account. Currently, I only have one user under my app, which is why I was signed in automatically. To configure additional users, go back to the Azure portal and go to Azure Active Directory. Go to Enterprise Applications and search in the name of your app. From the overview, under the Getting Started section, we can click number one, Assign Users and Groups. From here, click Add User slash Group and under Users, you may select additional users which you would like to add to your app. Then click Assign. Users will now be able to log in with Azure AAD for SFTP Gateway. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell to stay up to date on all our SFTP Gateway videos and tutorials. And as always, have a splendid day.